But here's what we're here to talk about today. This is the brand new phone from Samsung. This is the S23 Ultra in that nice cream color. Not ice cream, nice cream. cream. <laughs> uh, it's the latest Galaxy S23 smartphone. We saw the lineup at an event in San Francisco yesterday. It's been three years since the company held an in-person gathering. Of course, the focus once again is on the camera. Their top of the line phone has a 200 megapixel sensor. For the first time in three years, Samsung took to the stage to announce their latest flagship devices. It's good to be back together. The Galaxy S23 lineup consists of three new phones. This is the S23 with a 6.1 inch screen. This is the S22 Plus with a 6.6 inch screen. And this is the top of the line S23 Ultra with a 6.8 inch screen, stylus, and a brand new 200 megapixel camera system. The company says it's on a mission to eliminate plastic from its phone packaging, which it will accomplish in 2025. The new S23 Ultra has flatter edges, which should cut down on screen touches when you're not trying to. It also makes writing with the stylus easier. Unlike the iPhone, the S23s still have a SIM card tray, although there isn't a place for a memory card. Base storage is now double on the Plus and Ultra models with 256 gigabytes minimum. Here are some initial shots from the camera, which has nearly double the resolution over last year's model better low light performance, and better video stabilization. Samsung worked to make sure photos and videos look their best on popular social media apps. The Ultra still has 100 times zoom. Other new features include the ability to use a video clip on your lock screen. You can let Bixby answer the phone. What you type is spoken to the caller. Good for screening spam calls. Samsung is promising four generations of operating system updates and five years of security updates. The new phones come in black, cream, green, and lavender. Okay. All right, the new S23 lineup starts at $800. The Ultra starts at $1,200. The phones are available on February 17th. All right, if uh, you want to see some of the pictures I'm taking with them, you can go to my website, richontech.tv. We just took an incredible picture of Megan in portrait mode. And so, Megan, you're going to post this to your I'll post it in my story media. so people can see. Uh, I mean, it, what makes it great is the color, I think. It's not the picture of me. But it's the coloring and then the kind of slightly blurred background that you have there. But when you compare it to the iPhone, I mean, there's a big difference color-wise, I would color -wise, say. Color-wise, yeah. Yeah. So in a positive way. In a positive way. So I'm going to be testing, you know, the iPhone versus the Samsung. I'll post a bunch of those pictures to my social media as well so you can compare. Because that's really what it's all about is the camera. Right. That's well, what okay, want. so producer Shane is, is saying, is this worth giving up his iPhone for? Well, that's the thing. The Apple, Apple has gotten very good about getting people in their ecosystem. Right. And it's really tough to get out. It is. That's me. Yeah. I'll I mean, be once you have the you. AirPods yeah. and the different mm -hmm. things. And it's so together. easy to use. I remember yeah. you, you remember yeah. this story. Years oh, yeah. ago, Rich let me borrow one because I was really considering switching. And, and I was like, I'm too dumb to figure this out. You had out. it for like 20 minutes. It was a bit, you wanted a big screen yeah. phone. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. But yeah. so Shane is like, make him out. Is it worth it? This is what Shane uh, wants I don't, to know. I, st I can't say that right now. Okay. And especially if you wear an Apple Watch, it's really tough to yeah. give up everything. Sorry, Shane. Just to switch for a camera. I'll say this, and this is just objectively true. We just compare. It takes better pictures than the current Apple lineup. I'll that's just say that well, based on what I saw. That's, we'll see. That's preliminary. Yeah. But the reality is this may be the year that people consider a Samsung because this camera's gotten so good. Or Apple ups their game. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> that, that's what I want to happen. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. Uh, thank you, Rich. You got it. Good stuff.